Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a reading on Young Miami and Diddy. They seem like they been messing around. So I wanna see what's coming up for them. So I'm using someone's deck. And the first card is surprise. So he may give her a gift or he may surprise her with something coming up. Some surprise is coming up. So it says, I'm planning to surprise you. So he's going to surprise her soon, very soon. It could be surprise her with saying how he feel. Surprise her with giving her a gift. S some surprise. Next card is union. I'm getting that. They're going to be spending a lot of time together coming up. You're going to see it. They're going to spend a lot of time together. Um, next card is integrity. So they're going to have to make some choices about like what's going on or what they got going on. I don't feel like they're a couple. I feel like, you know, see, confirmation. <laughs> so I don't feel like they are together, like boyfriend and girlfriend. I just feel like they're having fun. That's the feeling I'm getting off of them. They're having fun. She's young. He's old. You know, guys like younger girls. So he having fun with her because she probably give him a run for his money. They're having fun. You may, you may see them saying they love each other and stuff like that. That like they may say, I love she may he may say, I love Carisha, I love Yam Miami, and she may say, I love Diddy. You know, they may express how they feel like they, they love each other. So, next card is Let Go of Fear. So, I feel that young Miami Carisha is scared, she's scared of him. She just scared, <laughs> she just protecting her heart. She's been heartbroken before, and she's just protecting herself protecting her heart i don't feel like he's scared i don't think he's scared at all but i feel like she's scared and i also pick up that the universe brought them together for a reason sometimes you meet people for a reason so the universe definitely brought them together for a reason we'll find out what that reason is if it's in the cards who knows but i feel like the universe brought them together i don't know i get something with her mother and him I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be messing. He's going to be messing with her mother. I don't know. Like, before I even did the cards, like, I guess something about her mother and him. Maybe she's trying to hook her mother up to him. I don't know. But I get her mother and him. I don't know. We'll find out. But I keep getting her mother and Diddy. So, I get that he can't. they can't stay away from each other. They both can't stay away from each other. They also think about each other a lot. They've been spending quality time with each other and they think about each other more than often. So you may see a video or her posting about her dancing and singing, listening to music while cooking with him. Or he may post that. Or it could be them doing it separately or together. That's something that's going to come out. They've been doing a lot of texting, a lot of texting, voice recording, voice messages. They've been doing a lot of that, a lot. I feel this is Diddy saying this to himself about her. It says, sometimes I make up whole conversations with you before I, I said a word. I feel he's really digging her. <laughs> he's really digging Carisha. And Carisha just having fun. I just feel like she's just having fun. She don't want nothing serious. She's just having fun. But he seemed like he want to take it to the next level. Like, she young, she popping. Like, he likes that. Again, I think this is Diddy's thoughts. He's saying, I wonder if you think about me as much as I think about you. And Carisha like, I'm a motherfucking city girl. I don't think about no guy. I don't think about the money. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel that he's thinking. This is what he's thinking. He's thinking about her a lot. I'm telling you, he really likes Carisha. And she's just playing it cool and just having fun. So they're definitely communicating. Ding, ding, ding. Someone's calling. They texting. They calling each other. They talking. As I said before, the universe brought them together for them to learn lessons. This is why you meet people. This is why you met your parents. This is why you met your boyfriend. This is why you met your siblings. To learn. So they definitely are put together to learn. I'm getting one of them needs to take care of their health i'm not sure who it is i feel it's carisha 
Yeah, I'm picking up is her. She needs to take care of her health. She may go to the hospital, go to the doctor. She's not feeling well. Something about her health is coming up. But overall, Spirit is saying that they're going to have fun. <laughs> they're going to have fun. New beginnings to fun. New beginnings to fun. Coming up, you're going to see Carisha spending time with his family, her ki his kids. He's going to spend time with her kids. It's just going to be like a family affair. They're going to be spending a lot of time together. As I said before, I feel they're both having fun. So there's going to be a period where they're not talking. And things going to be temporary. I see him giving her money. Like money, money, money. I feel that with this card, Delusional, I feel Karisha going to be saying that to him. Like, I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to have fun. Like, are you delusional? Like, as you can see, I didn't pressure you about being together. I'm just trying to have fun. I feel like that's her saying to him. Because did he seem like he lonely? He want, like, a main chick around. He want, like, his main thing, his main squeeze. But she having fun. I don't care what nobody say. I feel she's just having fun and she's just taking it as it is right now. She's not taking him serious. There's going to be some hot piping tea with these two, with Carisha and Diddy. I don't know who's going to spill it. I don't know what is coming up. It did not happen yet. There's going to be some tea, 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 tea. Sip your tea with one finger in the air. It's going to be some tea with them soon. Very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. They are just both distractions for each other right now as i said before i don't know if she manifested this man or he manifested her but somebody wanted somebody before before all this happened where they're together and hanging out somebody manifested this i don't know if it's him or her okay so spirit's telling me it's him he manifested this he like her he really like her he like how she's confident how she's sassy how she just the it the it factor I feel that Diddy is overprotected of her too. Like he sees her as his little daughter, but like I know that sounds crazy, but he sees her as one of his own. I feel that they both are gonna try to control this union, this relationship. It says more self control will get you to where you need to be at now. Yeah, I feel they both are gonna try to control the situation. I don't know if they're having sex, but I think they are because the freak car came out. So I get they both are a freak. They like some freaky, nasty stuff. But at the end of the day, they are going to be friends for life. Friends for life. I get they're going to be friends first. Friends for life. As I said before, there's going to be distance between them two. And then they're going to come back together and be cool again. I feel Carisha is healing right now. She just lost her baby daddy. She just broke up with her baby father, her other baby father. She's healing. They are both healing. I forgot about that. I forgot he lost his baby mother too. So they're both healing right now. They're in the healing process. But did he want her? Did he want Carisha bad? And he wants her to be patient with him and, and vice versa. But I feel like it's more on her part. She want him to be patient. She's not trying to rush anything. They are really going to get to know each other inside out and pour their heart out to each other. As I said before, they're going to be friends first. Diddy has so much to say to her, but he don't know how to say it. And as I said before, he really like Carisha. Like, Carisha's that girl. He like her. So at times he pull himself back because he don't want to come on too strong, but he is coming on strong. Carisha will get distant with him and he's going to be liking her pictures or watching her on social media and just like stalking her. And when she get distant, she gonna be like, no, Diddy, come back to me, come back to me. Like I was just focusing on myself for a minute. Like, let's hang out, let's chill. She's going to control everything, though. I see Diddy's going to be Diddy and mess with other girls. 
and Carisha probably gonna be messing with other guys but they do have a connection they do have a connection and they're gonna be like I'm sorry I don't have no time for you I'm so busy but it's really they've been busy with other people because I feel like they both have other people that's on their line and them and the people that they're hanging out with is taking up a lot of their time especially Carisha she got booze she got booze with the s so I also feel that Diddy's gonna be like you're not the one for me you know how he is and Carisha gonna be like oh I'm just having fun like I still like you though and he's gonna be like I like you too and they're gonna be thinking about like the time that they shared I don't know if you're gonna give her a ring or say hey I want to be in, in a relationship with you but that's what it's gonna be but I feel like they both gonna be playing games, but Carisha gonna be playing it the best because she a city girl. <laughs> now I'm playing, but that's the end of the reading, guys. That's what I get about them. They're gonna be back and forth, on and off, and some tea, some piping tea about to come out about them too. I don't know what it is, but it's some juicy, juicy, juicy tea. I don't know who gonna have it. Gossip of the city, um, Tasha K. I don't know who gonna have it. The shade room. There's going to be some tea. Remember I said that? Some tea. All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to read it with me, schoolofspirituality.biz. If you want me to make you a subliminal. My subliminals work. Like, oh, my gosh. But anywho, if you want to make me, if you want me to make you a subliminal, let me know. Subliminals are just messages that are hidden on the music. And it goes into your subconscious mind to get what you want. So if you want a boyfriend, I can make you a subliminal to get you a boyfriend. Or you got to tell me, like, what type of boy you want, what type of girl you want, whatever. Yes, yeah. That's a new project I'm working on. So if you want a deck made, you can go to my Etsy, School of Spirituality. Or you can go to my website, schoolofspirituality.biz. What else do I have? Um, my Twitter, School of Spirit 2. We popping over there. My Instagram, School of Spirituality. Everything School of Spirituality except Twitter. So I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Let me know other people you want me to do. Also, follow my Patreon. If you want to become psychic, if you want to manifest, I can help you that. Also, some tea, some juicy tea that I will not post on YouTube is on my Patreon. So thank you guys for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys later.